Hello, dear unit community. My name is Alexandros and I'm the partnership and grants manager of Unit Masters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MetaMask on your browser. MetaMask is a browser wallet allowing you to manage your cryptocurrencies, pay, uh, connect to different decentralized exchanges, to different NFT marketplaces, contribute to grants and other stuff. So let us start and I'm going to show you how to uh, install MetaMask, as I said. So the very first thing that we need to do is to open our browser, go to Google. Um, that would be google.gr.com, depending on where your region is. And the first thing that we're going to do is type, oops, MetaMask. It should normally be the very first thing that comes up. You click on it. Uh, make sure that it is metamask.io because it can be a scam and double checking the website is always a good practice to have in crypto until everything, uh, until people start uh, being more conscious about what is a scam and what is not a scam. And here we are on the MetaMask website and there is a button here saying download for Chrome. Now, if you're using Firefox, if you're using Brave or if you're using any other browser, it will say download for that browser instead, like download for Firefox. But in this case, because I'm using Chrome, it says for Chrome. So let's click on this. As we can see here, it has taken us to Chrome Web Store. Before adding MetaMask to Chrome, I would also suggest you watch this uh, short video to understand what MetaMask is in a little bit more depth but this is something that you could do on your own. And now I'm going to add MetaMask to Chrome. It says add extension. We're waiting a little bit. And here, if we go here to the extensions, we'll see that MetaMask is here. What we can do is pin it and we can see that the Fox is here. And when you click it, you can um, access MetaMask through your browser. But uh, let's click get started now. Here we can see uh, whether we want to help MetaMask improve their services. Let's say I agree in this case. And here we have the very first thing that we see is two options, import wallet and create a wallet. We're going with create a wallet, but I would like you to keep in mind import wallet just for a few minutes ahead. Just keep it in the back of your mind it will be a bit useful to know. So the first thing that will come is uh, create a password and I'm going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Um, please do not go with this password yourself. It's not a really good security practice. This is just an example. Try to find a more secure password that you know. And this is basically a password that you will be using when you are uh, entering MetaMask. It's a little bit like with your bank account, for instance, or anything else, where you have a password and you click on it in order to access your account. Then we go with create. Here we are going, well, there is a video, which I would also suggest you watch. It's just one and a half minutes. It basically, explains the best practices in managing your wallet, uh, what is the best security practices for your wallet. I'm going to um, mention them here as well, but it is good to watch the video and have it uh, imprinted on your mind because it's very important because cryptocurrencies is money and you have to know how to manage your money securely in the digital age. So we go to next. And here we go to the secret recovery phrase. If we click here, you will see this a phrase, moon, ordinary, what, giraffe, opera, outer, skull, silly, elephant, row, mass, and expect. Now, this phrase doesn't make any real sense, right? Uh, like as a sentence either, right? It doesn't make any, it doesn't have any logic. But the use of the sentence is the fact that you use the sentence in order to get access to your wallet. Do you remember beforehand that we had another option in the beginning called import wallet? Well, when you click on import wallet, 
MetaMask asks you exactly for this uh, recovery phrase, and you use it in order to get access to the wallet, basically, right? And for every single wallet that you create, this the secret recovery phrase is completely different. The best thing that you can do with the secret recovery phrase is to take a piece of paper, write the secret recovery phrase on it, make two or three copies of the secret recovery phrase and put uh, the paper somewhere really, really safe that only you have access or a person that you would trust with your money and your life has access as well in case you cannot access the secret recovery phrase yourself. If there is no such person that you would trust with your money and your life, just put it somewhere that only you have access to it. Because if another person gets access to your wallet, they will be able to access your money within MetaMask and transfer it somewhere else to their wallet or spend it or do something else. So please make sure that you follow the best practice in terms of security. Take this code. For you, it will be a completely different code. Write it on a piece of paper, make two, three copies, and put it somewhere safe where only you have access. Now, if we go to next, you're going to have we're going to have a small exercise where they ask you to add these, uh, to add this phrase uh, in the correct order to make sure that you know your phrase. What I would suggest is write it first on a piece of paper and then go next and write it. But in this case, I'm going to go with remind me later because I'm not going to use this wallet anymore. It's just for the purposes of this tutorial. And here, as you guys can see, we have our wallet. If we click on buy, we can see that we can buy Ethereum or Ether uh, with Coinbase, Coinpay, Coin, Coin, Coinbase Pay, Transac, MoonPay, Wire, or directly deposit Ethereum from another um, account. We can also send Ethereum if we have any and swap it for a different currency as well. Um, here, as you can see, we have zero USD. So what I'm going to do is show you how you add money from a completely different wallet that you may have to this wallet. As you can see, there is account one here. And do you see this 0x 60d whatever 3d 40? This is your MetaMask uh, address. So this is if you have a bank account, it's your um, international bank account number, let's say. So what you do in order to send money to it, you copy it to clipboard, you click, you see it says copied. You go to another, you can go to Binance, you can go on any other wallet, but I'm going to use my other MetaMask wallets that I have here. And I'm going to send $1 to this um, MetaMask account. As you can see here, uh, you can basically have, uh, you can send ETH, you can say one ETH, or you can uh, change it and have it in dollars. So I'm going to send $1 to that uh, account. Next. And here you can see estimated gas fee that I'm going to pay for Ethereum and the total that I'm going to pay, which is $1 plus the gas fee. So I'm going to confirm. And now I sent the dollar. Now, if I go back to Chrome from uh, Brave, we're, we're going to wait a little bit for the blocks to be propagated. But in a few seconds to a minute or so, we should see $1 here. So let us wait. As you can see, now we got $1 here. We can go to activity. And you can see that we received $1 September 19 today from this address. Now, some things that you need to be aware of. Um, 
you can go here and if you have another account you can click uh, click import account then you use your secret phrase for that account and you can have two accounts instead just this is something good to know if you have a hardware wallet from ledger from trezor from engrave from any other company you can connect that as well or you can create a completely new account as well these are things that you have to keep in mind and i hope this was helpful if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask in our channels and i hope that uh, you have learned something new